So please welcome Nate Westheimer, Breckabox.com. Nate. Tell us about Brickabox. What is Brickabox? We're we're in a in a place on the internet where and it's really hard not to, to see this. So I'm not trying to make you feel bad if you don't. But people are collaborating more and more uh, using the web. You know, this kind of the power has been stripped away from the the powers that be. You know, you see YouTube stripping power away from uh, from the major media companies. And what people are doing there is they're collaborating on, um, on video. They're saying, we're going to throw all of our video here. And this is going to be our meeting, meeting place for that. With dig.com, they're doing it for news stories. They're saying, we're not gonna, don't tell us what the front page of the, of the, in the newspaper is anymore, you editors. We're going to be the editors. We're going to decide what's, what's uh, important. So seeing that and seeing that where, where we are, brick a box is a, is a platform that allows people to make websites like these, where people are co uh, collaborating on a base of content. Um, and those types of websites can be anything from a place where you would share links with a group of people uh, to a place like Wikipedia is the perfect example of where we are. You know, that's an entire encyclopedia okay. built by a group of people. Uh, and anybody can participate. You can create one of those with, with our software, easily okay. one click. Um, and get either your small group of uh, friends or uh, people in your company or people in your community uh, or the whole world to collaborate on uh, kind of anything that you you want. So that's what Brickbox is and that, that's um, that's the market that we're in. Right? So give an example of how somebody would build a website. You would go to Brickbox and you'd say I want a website that has one of these tools which is called a wiki, where it's just a space where anybody can go in and edit. So all of his employees could, you know, if they're talking about a, a customer, they could talk about that customer. And then we also want to add maps. So they'd go to the site, get back to it, so create a wiki site, and then you'd say, well, I want maps uh, and locations on this. So they just drag drop maps in there and click add locations. And so then they could, within three minutes, um, be adding new you know, site work sites or customers um, be collaborating on you know the the project in terms of wh what's going on with the project, and they'd have it automatically mapped up and all of their projects mapped up. And again, this would take three minutes just by following some instructions on our on our website. Okay, so you ba basically you're providing the technology for people to do something that they normally would have to pay lots of money for. Absolutely, I think okay. if you look out on what's going on with the web, just what's always gone on with the web. The web has been about lowering barriers, period. So barriers to accessing information, that was Google, right? Google, all of a sudden, you could type in a few things, and you could get information that you never had before. I used the example of Blogger. That was a huge, you know, there was a huge barrier to having a site that easily updated itself, uh, that could reach everybody in, in the entire world. <laughs> See, I promised I would, uh, I would use the globe here as a prop. Um, <laughs> What WordPress did or what Blogger did is you started saying, I can be like the New York Times. The New York Times is huge. It's down the street here and it has a huge building. But all of a sudden you had people breaking stories and able to reach the entire world because they, Blogger, had taken this technology and made it available to anybody and lowered that barrier. Same thing we're trying to do for sites like Wikipedia. Uh, the first time somebody created like Wikipedia, that took a lot of energy. Right. But we want you to be able to make your own Wikipedia. I could have my own Wikipedia? Yeah, but you could have your own Wikipedia about, um, you know, you're, you're interested in business, right? Sure, so of course. So it could be business oriented. So it could just be about business terms. Okay. Um, so done. You, done, right? <laughs> Perfect. So uh, before you would have had to, you know, uh, download code, put it on a server, write code. How did you think of the idea for brick -a box Well, I wanted to create a lot of websites like these. You know, I, I had this desire. I'm not a technical person. I've learned a little bit through my, I've been doing this for, for a couple years, and I, I've learned a little bit of code, but I'm still not technical. I can't do this, so I wanted this tool. So what can we expect for the future? This trend that we're following, I think, is the right trend. I think okay. overall on the Internet, you'll continue to see barriers being lowered and uh, people getting more power to, to, to change the world. Um, and, and using tools that are accessible to them. And for us, we'll, we'll kind of just 
keep chasing that. Um, we're gonna we're gonna be growing right now. We're uh, where there are three of us, and so you'll just see a bigger bigger brick a box. I just think you'll see popping up here and there in your everyday life. Hopefully, you'll see you know powered by brick a box.